Hi, in this video we're going to talk about owning up to our mistakes and why it helps in business. So first of all, um, if, if you want to be successful in business or successful in anything, you have to know when you're in the wrong, you have to know when you've done something wrong, and you have to then, once you've admitted that to yourself, then, and only then, are you able to fix it. So, you know, if you look at people that, for example, want to be successful in, in making money, for example, if, if you look at the people that always blame everybody else for their crappy situation, those people are always broke. And they're stuck, you know, they've admitted to being a victim, they've victimised themselves, and they can, they can never get out of that situation. They've paralysed themselves to get out of that situation. So, and then if you look at somebody that's really successful in making money, he always owns up to making mistakes. If you've done something wrong, own it. You know, you know, it doesn't have to be apologising to people. You just have to own it within to yourself. So, you know, you always see like people that, that blame the government or they, they blame the weather or the environment or their friends or, or someone. They're always blaming everybody else other than themselves. So they basically made themselves a victim and paralysed themselves to fix what the underlying issue really is. So I see like excuses with people saying, well, you know, it's this coronavirus, that's why I'm not making any money, I'm poor because of that, blah, blah, blah. But you've got to look at the bigger picture. You've got to think, you got to think there's other people making money in this climate. Uh, lots of different people. You know, like for example, YouTube, it's gone through the roof. eBay sales, going through the roof. And I can make hundreds and hundreds of more examples of people that are successfully making money with all this lockdown stuff going on. And, and to then just use that as an excuse, you've now made it impossible for you to fix it. You've, you've claimed yourself to be a victim, and if you're a victim, you, you kind of just take what you dealt. You know, whatever you dealt, you just, you just take it, you suck it up, and you're like, oh, it sucks, government, rah, rah, rah. Oh, virus, rah, rah, rah. whatever. And you just, you're not going to be able to fix it. So now in future, you know, if, if you're trying to get good at a certain part of your life and something's not going right and something, something happens, something puts you into a situation that is bad for your business or, or stops you from making money, then look at what you could have done differently. What have you done wrong and how can you fix it? Because the minute you own up and take responsibility, that is the minute that you can now look into it and think to yourself, what could I have done differently? How can I fix it? How can I better myself in the future? And then that puts you in, in control. You're the boss. You're in charge of the situation. And you can go out there and you can fix it. And you can make work, whatever it is that you want to make work. So don't be a victim. Man up. Be a boss. And make stuff happen. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.